Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can use my free 3D t-shirt mockup inside Blender to create your very own clothing animations. I'll of course have a link in the description for this, but firstly you want to head to my Gumroad page, which is brockcreative.gumroad.com, and from there you're going to find a whole heap of different mockups that you can use, but for today we're going to be focusing on the free animated 3D t-shirt mockup. Now, once you're on this page, in order to get it for free, you want to go down to this little tab here and enter zero dollars. If you do want to support the channel, you're welcome to enter as much as you'd like, but if you want to get it for free, all you have to do is enter zero dollars and then add it to your cart. And once you've extracted that zip folder, you'll have everything you need to get started. And once you open up the Blender file, you notice that the mock-up is already there for you. Now, if you find that when you play your animation, your mock-up isn't walking like mine is on screen, you need to make sure that you go down to your modifier properties and right here where it says file path, you want to click on the little folder icon here. And now where you've unzipped your zip file, you'll need to find the animation cache.abc. This is the file that's going to make your mock-up animate. So you want to make sure that you accept this and now everything should be playing like normal. And now in order to see a design on this mockup, you wanna to go to the top right of your viewport and turn on the rendered shading preview. And this is gonna show you the template design, but now we wanna change this to your design. In order to do that, you wanna open up the Photoshop template. And once you open up that Photoshop project, you're gonna be presented with this template here. It has different guidelines there to show you where you can place your designs. And just in case you don't have Photoshop, I've also supplied a template here that you can use in any other photo editing software that you have. Now I already have a design here, so I'm gonna bring this into our template and just place it where I need it to go. Now that we have our designs in place, we can turn these guidelines off because we no longer need them. And if we wanna change the color of our mock-up, we can do that by changing the background color here to any color that you want. I'm happy to leave this as black though, so that's what I'm gonna do. And once you're happy with your design, you can either save the Photoshop project or you can export it out as an image. I'm gonna save this as a PNG file and we'll just call this Brock Creative Example. And now going back to our Blender mockup, we wanna to go to the material properties here and to change it to our design, we wanna click the folder icon, find where we saved our design, ours was Brock Creative Example. And now in order to render this design out, we wanna to go to our output properties, choose the location of where we wanna save our design. By default, this is set to an image sequence, but if you want it to be a video, you can use either one of these files. And once you're ready, you just go to the top left and hit render animation. 